so the problem we are facing is when i reach to the bottom yes it load the next page but to move at the top and various other problems so let's solve this problem by searching for react infinite loading and the best library i know is react infinite scroll component okay so let's open this one and here you can see it has many downloads like 80000 downloads per week very famous so that's good so let's install this library while this library is installing let's see how we can use it obviously we need to use this infinite scroll then we need to de determine or define actually the length as a data length then on this next prop we need to give the function which is actually going to fetch the next part next page actually then has more will true is actually going to trigger when we reach the bottom and then it load the next page okay so let's try so it is now installed and uh, because we need to give the actual data inside this as a children prop so let's see how we can actually do that so we have show images and this show images is using this map but here i can actually return infinite scroll and then i can move it like this yep we have this and let's remove it and this should be like uh, this one yep so we have uh, a component because we need to render some javascript we have used the curly braces inside that we are using this image okay but now if i do this only and go here it says data length is missing obviously we know so data length will be we know it's images dot length okay next we have some more error no we don't have any error but we have lost the styling don't worry about that that's okay but first we need to disable our own infinite scroll so i can actually remove this one we don't need this scroll hook custom hook and that's good now once again let's try i'm at the top if i go at the bottom no nothing is happening one more thing is that i don't want this load more button so let's go here and totally remove this load more button that's done and next it require next so next prop will be a function so i can give an arrow function which is going to set page as a page plus one okay let's try this still it's not loading the next page because finally we need to give has more to true okay so finally has more to true so at the top i'm at the top yep like this let's go at the bottom and keep your eye on the network tab so i can show you that we have some calls okay so we have this and scrolling at the bottom yep you can see it has actually uh loaded the component just like this and once again it's loaded and i think we have some issue because of that uh, uh, loading part so the issue is because of this loading because as soon as is loading gets true this render and then once again this render from the top so for now i can remove this loading and let's see how this is going to work okay so once again let's try that yep you can see we don't have any re-rendering at the top and that's okay no problem to solve that issue we can use this loading instead of here we can load it at the bottom 
and now I can simply say like if is loading is true then show the loading icon there okay let's try this at the bottom yep so it's actually not having that loading state because it's too fast very nice so we are having all these images but finally we lost the issue of that styling to solve that you can see somewhere it's given yeah you can also provide the class name to give the any class name you want okay so we actually want to give this flex thing so instead of flex giving there i can give that class name flex and flex wrap here let's try this okay that's cool and that means i can totally remove these two like here okay that's nice once again <laughs> yeah you can see now we cannot feel that something is loading in the background as we are scrolling down it's called infinite scrolling whoa that's cool and you can see that we also have that loading uh, circle also this is how we can have that and once again we have done that part so let's move ahead